Tonight, more cowbell will do our best to make you laugh with our musical jest. So let's get started with just one question. May we ask for a suggestion? Popcorn. Oh, crazy. Popcorn. Mommy, that's, that, 
That's my therapist trick for trying to deal with things. Oh, okay. okay. You want me to get your special juice out of the refrigerator? Oh, for God's sake, please. Here's your Gatorade. Oh, okay. Yes, that was gin flavor. Oh. Okay, so I've been practicing my tap dancing. Let me put my shoes on. Oh, oh, darling. Oh. oh. I know oh. how you love this oh. melodic sound of all this noise on your hardwood floor, Mom. Oh, good God. Okay. <laughs> Juliet! Let's Juliet, 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 Juliet! Oh, and cut! Uncle Frank, someone violated my back. Uh, guys, guys, hey, 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 
Hey, those of you who have just come into the theater, please keep it down. We are trying to watch Jim Carrey as Stars and Stripes forever. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, some... Damn it, Frank! Hit Girl and Kick-Ass Hit Girl and Kick-Ass. You guys start making out behind us, I swear to God, my nephew is going to come. My nephew... My take care of us. Take care of it. My take mind care. would kill them, but they look pretty hot. Excuse me, please be quiet. Yeah, we're trying to watch the movie. Trying to hear a movie? <laughs> Sorry. Hello? Well, Jim Carrey looks really good at yeah. it. Yeah. Now I'm in the movie theater. <laughs> now I'm in the movie theater. <laughs>
Barry's balloons. That's what we do. Fireworks and balloons. Fireworks and balloons. Fireworks and balloons. <laughs> what a genius idea. What a genius idea, right? I thought about it myself. I know. You got your helium tanks. You got your fireworks. Yeah. You're a brilliant man. Yeah. I'm going to kill this job. I'm going to be your best. You're going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. Like with a knife. Like I'm going to just not. You I'm going to burn this job. You're going to burn this job. And you know why? It's because I will never forget, meeting you as a kid, I thought, my God, you know what, that, that, that very little kid, that very little kid, my yeah. nephew, he's going to kill it one day. Yeah. He's going to kill it. Oh, dear. Yeah. He's, he's going to kill it with the fireworks and the balloons and the helium. Yeah. Oh, you knew. Man, I'm talking to you, knew. Because, like, I was, like, two feet tall, and you knew one day I was going to grow up, right? I knew one day. And I was going to be, like, six foot two, and I was going to be big, and I could handle a big boy job. Yeah, okay. Well, that's one thing. One thing that's a little bit different about this job that you might not know about, so come here, let me tell you. Okay, Tim. Okay. See, the uh, FCC regulated that we stay away from the helium balloons. Okay. So uh, now what we got to do is I got to have you blow in the balloons. But oh. if you blow the balloon too much and it pops, they're going to explode in your face. And I don't want to see you doing that because you know what happens when that happens. I explode in your face. Well, I, you know, I didn't know. We we're gonna be blowing up balloons, and they might pop in my face. Yeah, well, they might pop in your face. <laughs> I mean, I, I have a basic understanding of balloons. Yeah, but come on now. I've been but that's gonna be scary. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's slightly scary and all. But we've been training you since you were a kid. Hey, Tom. I'm telling you, man. Don't you remember when you were a little kid? Remember you come, you sit on my lap, and you say, Uncle Barry, Tom. I'm going to learn how to blow up balloons one day. And I said, you know what, son? You got something in you. Remember those fireworks we had? Those fireworks we had. We had those fireworks. What was that, 4th of July? No, it was just in the middle of October. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we was like, whatever, we'll make a home holiday. We were making a home holiday. We're Barry's, right? Yeah, we're Barry's. Who cares? Yeah, we're going to make a home holiday. We're going to do this. You know I love you, kid. I love you, too, man. But there's something that I just don't understand. When you first came to me, you first came to me, you were a little bitty man. Why? And I said, <laughs> you know what? I think you could do this one day, but you had a cleft palate. <laughs> and I thought, what are we going to say? We took you to have surgery. We took you to the hospital. And then something happened. You put a glove in your face. I have got faith in you now. You look better than ever. Thank you. <laughs> I need you to get blown up. Clap palette all better. Oh, you do this. So give it a try. I got so much faith in you. You're like my own son.
messed up as ever. Oh, it's, it is as messed up as ever. Jam Vietnam War. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just was trying to carry a suitcase. <laughs> Everything leads back, trust me, logically to the Vietnam War. <laughs> my children, my Korean wife, don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> she was foreign exchange in Vietnam. <laughs> makes sense. Oh, no way, double whammy. <laughs> That's her name. Whammy. With an I and a U for some reason. That's a triple whammy. I'm sorry. Don't be talking about my what? I am triple whammy. Hey, hey, listen. You want to offend someone who's been in Vietnam? Look, look. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no. Every time. She's my little kimchi, except I've never buried her in the ground. I feel uh, uh, You got me big gay. Look, I just came over here to big gay. All I wanted was some big gay. Big gay when you got double Hey, gay. hey, uh, Frank, listen, knock it off. That's one. Some anger. Knock it off? She wants to knock it off, but you're here. Oh, for God's sake. I need an analgesic. You want to roll it back. That's all I need. That's all I need. I don't mean to go to Walgreens or CVS, because those little yuppies down there, they all try to sell me. What's on? I don't know what the hell is that. There's a little thing in my key. I got 15,000 of these things. Look here. Look here. Let me take it out of my uh, hood locker. There you go. Here's some analgesic made especially in Vietnam for me. You know what? I, I was missing a leg after a bomb hit me with an IED, but look at it, it's back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vietnam. Hell of a place, but it pays off dividends. Smells like a no, but an Asian dog's diarrhea. It does wonders for the bladder in the back, though.
So I'm sorry for um, sorry for uh, dinner at my parents. I, I didn't realize they were going to be so racist. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to be so racist either. I mean, you warned me that they were, you know, old fashioned. Old fashioned. Old fashioned. Because 